Today, I just want to talk to you about the privilege of knowing God. As believers in Jesus Christ, one of the greatest privileges we have is to know God personally and intimately through the Lord Jesus Christ. Now, we know that the word says that Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. And nobody comes to the Father except through him. Now, that is true. And the denial of truth doesn't change the truth. We live in a time where everybody wants to live or tries to live by their own truth. But let me tell you something. This is not new. God is not surprised. And we know in Ecclesiastes, it says that there is nothing new under the sun. So this is not the only time in history that people have tried to live life based on their truth. Okay? We can get derailed from our relationship with the Lord by relying on our intelligence. Okay? Humanity has been given the capacity to know God, yet sometimes we choose to abandon this truth. Okay? Sometimes we can rely on our academics or we just rely on information and experiences that we have had in this life where we learned something to be true. But it's not true. Maybe we have learned something to be a fact. But God's word always trumps facts. His word is the truth. And it never changes, right? We know that God is the same yesterday, today, and forever. So his truth is truth is truth. Like it never changes, okay? So another way we can veer off the path with the Lord is by our own ignorance. We simply do not know what we do not know. So our ignorance can lead us away from the Lord. If we are not in the word, if we are not studying, if we are not praying, if we are not being sensitive to the Holy Spirit, then we're ignorant to the things of God. And we can get off the path that the Lord would have us on. And the other thing that can derail us from our relationship with the Lord is indulgence. Just indulging in things in this world. You know, as humans, we can attempt to fill either emotional or spiritual things in our life outside of God. Okay, we can try to fill up on everything the world has to offer. You know, it has to offer information and control, false control, or substance abuse, or pride, anything like that that we try to fill up on and indulge the flesh will take us out of the will of God and put us on a path of the world. The way we live in the truth of the Lord is by choice, okay? It's a choice. We have to choose to be in the word. We have to choose to believe the word. And we have to choose to live the word out. It's a choice to not fall into the trap of intelligence. This world is, will try to get you to believe what it believes. It will try to get you to do things the way it does things. It will try to get you to you know, take control over situations that you have no control over, but the world will try to do those things apart from God. It will also, the world will try to keep you ignorant from the things of God. You're not going to watch commercials and learn the truth of God, okay? You're not going to watch most of these TV shows or anything and be inundated with the word of God, okay? That's just, it's just an ignorant way to live, so to speak. You just don't know. And the world is not going to talk you out of indulging the flesh, okay? We must be in the word. So I just want to encourage you. Be in the word for yourself, okay? Be in prayer for yourself. Be in fellowship with other believers for yourself. 
That way, once you have freely received the abundance from the Lord, you can freely give. Amen. Heavenly Father, we thank you so much for your word. We thank you that your word is the truth not a truth. Your word is the truth that we can build our lives on and we can trust your word to never return to us void. And we pray this in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen.